Calves are born without any protective immunity. They only receive protection once they absorb antibodies from colostrum, which is the first milk the cow produces after calving. The calf relies on this protection from colostrum until they can develop their own immunity, which begins at three to four weeks of age. Getting the right amount of good quality colostrum into calves as early as possible is the secret to good calf management. Calves that get enough colostrum are less likely to get sick and will thrive better. Colostrum is richer than normal milk in many respects, but especially in its content of antibodies. Antibodies are proteins that are built by the immune system to prevent infectious diseases. Antibodies in colostrum can only enter the calf's blood from their intestines during the first few hours after the calf is born. The ability to absorb antibodies decreases every hour from birth and stops by the time the calf is 24 hours old. Colostrum quality is measured by the level of antibodies it contains and this varies between cows. A Brix refractometer is an easy to use veterinary instrument designed to test the quality of the colostrum and should be carried out as often as possible, either by you or if you are unsure how to use it, ask your veterinary practitioner to show you. This will ensure that only high quality colostrum is being fed to calves as their first feed. Beef cows and lower yielding mature dairy cows generally have richer quality colostrum. The second and subsequent milkings from a cow contain less antibodies and should not be considered as colostrum but as transition milk. Colostrum should not be mixed with transition milk for feeding to newborn calves and pooling of colostrum from multiple cows is not recommended. It is important to hygienically collect and store colostrum as a high bacterial count in it reduces the calf's ability to absorb the antibodies. At peak calving, when there is surplus colostrum on the farm, a supply should be frozen in three liter bottles or Ziploc plastic bags to have some available if needed in an emergency. It will last for up to a year in the freezer without its quality being affected once it is thawed slowly in water below 50 degrees when needed. Ensure all feeding equipment used is thoroughly cleaned after use because a buildup of milk and bacterial residue rapidly occurs and this will interfere with the calf's absorption of antibodies from the colostrum. So to summarise, a dairy calf should be fed colostrum, that's milk from the first milking only, within two hours and a volume of three litres fed. This is the one, two, three of colostrum management. Healthy beef cows normally have good quality colostrum with higher antibody levels than dairy cows and calves normally suckle on their own or with assistance within two hours of birth, unless the calf is too weak or if the cow won't let them or if they had a difficult birth. In these situations, suckler calves should be hand fed two to three litres of colostrum by stomach tube or an artificial teat.